Hi, I'm Allison for Leading Edge Dog Show Academy and today I want to talk to you about a question that we get asked a lot and that is going to the handling class near me. So if you have been on any of my webinars, you have been to the ultimate guide to handling your dog on Leading Edge Dog Show Academy, which I fully invite you to do if you haven't heard of them, um, you're going to know that I have fairly strong feelings about handling classes. So handling classes are great. I think that, you know, shout out to all the volunteers out there that put on handling classes, all those kennel clubs that offer them. I think that they are a needed vice, um, a needed tool in training our dogs to be show dogs. However, I think that they are a tool that is overused. And I think that they are a tool that you need to use with caution, especially once you gain and your dog gain some experience in the show ring. And I'm gonna tell you why. So the majority of time when we go to handling classes, handling classes are about an hour long. Um, and they teach our dogs to go in the ring and really be bored of going in the ring. What happens when we're bored? Well, often we pick up bad habits, right? We watch too much TV, we're on social media too much, we maybe eat too much of the wrong kind of food when we're bored. Same with our dogs. They learn to slouch, they learn to sit, they learn to not pay attention to the lead, they, get, they learn to just be bored with the entire process. And if you really want a top winning show dog, you really want to look fantastic in the ring, we want our dogs excited to be in the ring. And they are not going to get that kind of excitement by being at a handling class in a ring for an hour. Being in the ring for an hour in the real world of dog shows basically never happens. It might happen at your national specialty once in a while. Those only happen once a year. If you're a special at the very, very top of your game is probably the only time you're going to be in a dog show ring for one hour. So right there, they're teaching our dogs bad habits, teaching them to be bored. And also you aren't communicating with your dog the way you need to in a handling class. So for all of these reasons, I don't like them. Also, shout out to those volunteers, but a lot of times you don't have people who are experts in your breed or can really troubleshoot the problems that you are having in handling classes. And that is a whole other subject in itself. Now, the place that I think handling classes are useful is this, you are new to dog shows. You have never seen what a dog show mat looks like. You've never done a down and back on a mat. You've seen it at Leading Edge Dog Show Academy. Your dog has maybe never been on a mat, never been in a building with other dogs. Your dog has never been touched by a stranger. Um, your dog like is not used to that whole atmosphere. These are the reasons I think handling classes are useful. They are useful for that new person and that new dog to be used to being around other breeds, used to seeing mats on the ground following a ring pattern and also having a judge like look at our dog's mouth and examine the dog those are the ways that they are useful so the way I encourage my students to use a handling class is like this. I think that especially if you haven't shown your dog a lot and your dog is basically trained and or maybe you have shown a few dogs and this is a new puppy, I think handling classes are great to like I said, introduce our dogs to that building, the mats, the strangers, the other breeds. But what I would encourage you to do is I would encourage you pay your money, go to that handling class, go in for the first 10 minutes, go around the ring, go down and back, get your dog examined by a stranger and get out of there. Maybe sit there and watch the rest of the class so your dog still gets that ambiance of the show, sees the other breeds, all those other things. And maybe if the instructor allows it, you go in for the last five minutes of the class. To me, this is more realistic it is a way for you to get the benefit of the handling class without getting the things that can really, really mess up a new show, show dog and a new handler. Um, you need to talk to the instructor and make sure that this is okay with them. But again, I would also caution against the instructor that doesn't see the validity in you being able to do those things, right? If the instructor says, no, you need to be in here for the entire hour, that's not the instructor that I want to go be with, right? So use handling class is as just a tool tool in your toolbox. It is more important that you are out there practicing five to 10 minutes every single day at home. Practicing stacking on a table, 
look at our courses at Leading Edge and understand why even large breeds should be stacked on the table 90% of the time for their training. Get a tool like a symmetry mat that you can use and send a photo of your dog on it to your mentor to make sure you are stacking your dog in a breed specific manner. So handling classes, um, again, are great for the things that they are good for but they are so bad in teaching our show dogs how to be bored in the ring. One of the other questions that we get all the time is, my dog is happy outside the ring, but really bored, doesn't show very, very lackluster in the ring. Um, more than nine times out of 10, I ask these people if they go to handling classes and they always say yes. So these people have just taught their dogs. We're going to go in there for an hour. I'm going to stand around talking to my friends. You're going to be on a lead on a hard floor in a drafty building or a hard floor in a hot, sweaty building. And we're not really going to interact that much. I would much rather that we used our handling classes, go in there, be excited, get done what you want to done. Even if you are in the handling class for the first 10 minutes and the last five minutes, this is more what might happen at the dog show. You might go in the breed and then need to, you know, maybe you go in, you go winner's dog and you have to wait 15 minutes to go in for the breed. Maybe you've won the breed or puppy and breed and you have to wait a couple hours to go in for the puppy group. Going into the handling class at the beginning and the end is much more realistic for your dog. So the next time you're thinking about handling class, Think about what do you want to get out of that class? Do you want to learn how to show your dog to the best of your ability? And if the answer is yes, that is not where you're going to get that. Using the handling class as an experience for your dog, as an experience for you, and as a tool in your training box is what you should be looking for at a handling class. Um, we have lots of great resources at Leading Edge Dog Show Academy. We have an absolutely wonderful free absolutely free course on how to stack your dog step by step. It has videos, it has diagrams, and like I said, absolutely free. You can learn how to stack your dog there. We have other great handling resources that teach you all the other things that you need to know. Then you can move on to using that local handling class as that tool. So I invite you to check us out at Leading Edge Dog Show Academy. I invite you to check out your local kennel club's handling class. Use it with a grain of salt. And I hope that helped. Hey everyone, thanks for watching today's video. Please leave us a comment below, let us know what you thought, and as well, if you have any ideas for future content that you'd like to see, you can put them down there as well. You can head over to leadingedgedogshowacademy.com where you can find our free, premium, and subscription content, and we'd love to have you join us there. As well, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on those notifications, that way you never miss another free video tutorial. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.